All right, what's going on guys? It is your boy Havoc here. Today what I have for you guys is yet another tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a YouTube banner for free using a software known as Pixlr. Now, the last tutorial that I did on how to make a banner for free got so much support that I've decided to make another tutorial on this. And I've got a couple more techniques to show you guys, so I hope this video does help you out. If it does, a like would be very much appreciated as well as a subscription but with that being said let's get straight into it so the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on the first link in the description and that will take you to this page right here and click on create a new image and for the width we're going to make this 2560 and for the height 1440 and we're going to click transparent and click ok now the next thing that you're going to want to do is go to the second link in the description and that will take you to this banner template and this pretty much shows you where your banner will look like on different devices uh, pretty much bottom line uh, what you can take from this is you want to have most of your content of your banner in the darkest black area because uh, most people will view your channel on a mobile device or a pc device um, so on mobile on a cell phone um, the only area that they will see is this darker black area if they're on a desktop a PC They'll see this longer black strip right here And then very seldom do people view your channel on a TV device But they will be able to view this entire area So you're just going to want to right click save image as save it onto your desktop and After you do that go back to Pixlr go to layer open image as layer and go ahead and open it up and there it is right there so what we're gonna do is create a new layer right here click on this button right here click on this rectangle tool right here this drawing tool make sure it's on rectangle and we're gonna make a rectangle all the way to this line right here and another one at the other bottom line right here and click out of there so now I'm going to kind of focus on the actual background first before we focus on the text. Um, usually I focus on the text first, but I just want to go about this um, through a different standpoint. So for this tutorial, I'm going to try and look for cool city backgrounds. So, so if you go to Google and type in cool city panorama backgrounds, um, you'll find a lot of pretty cool images. Now you could always use a city that you actually live by or that you know of. Um, personally, I believe this is Chicago because I believe that's the Sears Tower. Um, I personally don't really know Chicago that well, but I live close to Kansas City. So you could always type in like Kansas City background or wherever you live um, background and you can find images and you could always use some of these. I kind of like this one or this one, for instance. So I can always just view image, right click, save image as and just save it to my desktop. And I'll go ahead and save this one as well. So I'll just right click, save image as, save it onto my desktop, go back to Pixlr, and then we're gonna go open image as layer. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up the first one that I saw. And obviously this is too big for the actual banner. So I'm gonna go to edit, free transform. And when you click on this button right here, you wanna hold scale or you wanna hold shift. So it keeps the actual proportions from changing. So make sure you hold on shift and slide this over here. Need it a little bigger. So right about there. And we're actually gonna move this layer below layer two where you had the two rectangles. So it actually shows up right there. So I wanna show you guys a couple of techniques to make this background look a lot better. So you're gonna wanna go back to Google and type in watercolor texture and just try to find something that isn't too colorful but it will still give the watercolor texture to this background um, and I think this one's probably the best one to use so just click view image save image as save it onto your desktop and we're also gonna try and find a rain texture as well I think it makes the background a lot better if you like just put a lot of different textures so view image Save image as, put it on your desktop, and then go back to Pixlr, layer, open image as layer, 
and then we're going to go ahead and open up this watercolor layer and we're going to want to make this a little bigger obviously so just go to free transform and i'm just going to keep the scale just uh, you can if you want to if you want to keep the proportions right but it doesn't really matter i guess and i think that looks good right there and then we're going to go to this button right here and we can change the opacity and i'm going to change it to whatever looks about right i think probably about 30 but it might depend on what background you're using um, personally i think this looks a whole lot better um, than if we didn't have watercolor for instance that's that's how it was before and this is how it is with watercolor i think that makes it look a lot better we're going to go ahead and add the rain texture um, so i believe it's this one and there's that right there we're going to lower the opacity once again to i would say about 30 as well and I'm going to do one more thing to the rain texture. I'm going to go to adjustment, brightness and contrast, and I'm going to bring the contrast up to about, uh, I would say about 30, somewhere around 30. Click OK. I think that looks pretty good. I think the background looks pretty good now. Uh, if you want to do one more thing, I would suggest going back to the background layer so wh whatever layer your city's on which is layer three for me so i'm going to go to adjustment hue and saturation and uh this is kind of where you can change the color of the background so for instance if your brand is a certain color and you want to have all of your like logo banner if you want everything to be a certain color you can do that here so you can click on colorize and you can change the color um and you can always change the saturation or if you don't like it like this uh, you can go through a different standpoint you can I personally don't really like it like this um, I personally like it better with colorize either that or not even changing the hue and just having more saturation looks a lot better see that's without any change and this is with change I think it actually looks like a painting now there's one last thing that I would do to the banner though so what you're going to want to do is go to Google and search up blurred black circle PNG and go ahead and view image, right click, save image as, save it onto your desktop and then go back to Pixlr, go to layer, open images layer and go ahead and open it up right here. And we're going to free transform this to just about, I would say around right about there. And we're going to move this over to about there and we're going to duplicate the layer and move it to the other side right about there i think that makes it look a lot better i don't know how you guys feel now i'm going to do one more thing i'm actually going to move both of these circles <coughs> below all of these layers make sure it's above the watercolor layer but below everything else so in between layer these layers right here so i'm going to move this layer all the way down to there i think that makes it look a lot better so i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this other circle and voila there we are i think that looks a lot better right there so now that we have the background all finished it is time to move on to the text so for the text you're going to go to the third link in the description and that will take you to defont.com. Defont has a lot of different um, fonts, so I wouldn't necessarily pick the one that I'm going to use. I would go ahead and search up some of, some of the other ones and you can search it on this search bar right here. Um, there's probably at least thousands upon thousands of different fonts. Once you find the one that you want to pick, um, you just want to go to this download button right here and then it will download a zip file. Just go ahead and show in folder and then move it onto your desktop and then right click extract files, click OK. And there's the file right here should show up and just go ahead and click on it. Click install. I already have it installed, but I'll just reinstall it. Might as well. And that's pretty much all you have to do whenever you find a font that you want to download. So now that you have the text all installed and everything, just go back to Pixlr and then click on create a new layer right here. 
go to the text icon right here and click anywhere on your background and I'm just gonna move this up a little and then go ahead and search for your text it should it should start you all the way up here so you'll have to scroll and search for it just remember what name the font is mine is uptown I'm gonna change the size to 130 and the color to white um, and you can change the different shades so if you don't want white or black you can always change it and you can change the tone it's pretty simple um, to use really um, but I'm gonna keep it white right here and just go ahead and enter your text so your channel name I'm gonna write the havoc because that's my channel name click OK and there it is right there I'm gonna go ahead and kind of center this up and you can always like move it it doesn't necessarily have to be center but in order to see where we're putting everything I'm gonna go ahead and move this just temporarily move this layer up so we can actually see where our parameters are just for just for the second right here so after we do that we're gonna go over to layer right here right click and go to layer styles and we're gonna put a drop shadow of about 100 opacity five distance I would say and I think that looks pretty good right there click OK and we're done with the text as far as the channel goes um, but I have a couple more things to show you guys so most of the time on your banner you're gonna want to actually show other people um, your social media so that if they're following you on YouTube you want them to follow your other social medias so you obviously want to promote those so um, you can really choose whatever ones you want to use I'm gonna use Twitter and snapchat because that's pretty much uh, the two primary social medias that I actually use um, so you're gonna want to just search up Twitter logo PNG white and there's the Twitter logo so view image right click save it onto your desktop and do the same thing for snapchat view image right click save image as go back to Pixlr go to layer open images as layer and you should be able to find your snapchat and twitter ones right here so i'm just going to go ahead and open snapchat up and i'm going to go ahead and zoom in you can do this with your with your mouse uh, with your scroller so just like any other program you can zoom in and then i'm going to go ahead and free transform this make sure you're holding shift so the proportions stay the same and I'm going to probably make this about right about there and I'm going to move it just about kind of center it up I'm going to move it just about right about there and then click OK and we're going to do the same exact thing for the snapchat logo or I guess the Twitter logo we already did snapchat and to make sure we make this the same size as the snapchat logo we're just kind of kind of focus in on here right here and as we're scaling it up just make sure it's the same size that looks you can pretty much eyeball it that looks about the right size so I'm gonna move this Twitter one over to this side right here now here's the part where you can actually kind of choose what what kind of layout you want to use if you want to have a different layout you can um, for instance, I could always put both social medias over here and I could move the havoc just a tiny bit over so that everything's kind of centered. So I might actually do that. So I'm going to go ahead and move the havoc over right about there. And I'm going to go ahead and move Snapchat and Twitter to right about there so that the distance from here to here is the same as here to here. You want to make sure everything's centered. They need a little tweaking up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the layers, layer styles, go to drop shadow, make sure it's at 100 opacity, probably about five distance, same as the Havoc. So there's one last thing to do, and obviously that's to have your actual Snapchat name and your Twitter name. So we're going to go back to our original text right here, right click duplicate layer and we're going to move that over here and go to the text tool right here click anywhere on the text and you're going to switch the text to whatever your snapchat name is so mine for instance is marquette 
switch that over and I'm gonna go ahead and change the size to about 30 I th think that's pretty good right about there and move it right about there and click OK and I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the layer again and I'm gonna go ahead and move it down to here and my Twitter name is not Marquette so I'm gonna so we're gonna change it to the havoc and click OK and now that we have that finished um, you can just go ahead and delete the layer so you can right click delete layer and there it is here's your finished product what you're gonna want to do is go to file save and up the quality to 100 and most likely you're gonna want to save it as a JPEG either that or a PNG but um, I'm just gonna do JPEG for this one click OK save it onto your desktop I'm just gonna save it as banner um, and click save now that the image is saved um, don't back out of this just yet in case you want to make minor changes later down on the road um, but once you exit out of here uh, you will not be able to come back so you want to make sure you're good with the final product to actually implement this to your final channel to your YouTube channel you're gonna want to go to your YouTube channel right here and wherever your banner current banner is you're gonna click on this icon right here edit channel art and then you're gonna want to select a photo from your computer you should have saved it onto your desktop if you followed my directions here's mine right here and it's uploading right here and from the parameters it looks pretty good right here there's the desktop version TV version and mobile version um, but yeah that's pretty much it you just select it and that's pretty much what you want to do I'm not gonna change mine cuz I don't want to change it from the actual one that I have right now so I'm just gonna click click cancel but that's pretty much it that's what you really have to do um, I hope this tutorial did help you guys out and I hoped it helped you make a high quality banner for your YouTube channel for free if it did a like would be very much appreciated as well as a subscription and with that being said it's been your boy Havoc here and I'll see you guys in the next video peace